as a Muslim, what's your top parenting tips? Don't beat your kids, as one. Uh, Don't beat them? Yeah, because I think a lot of cultures, obviously, people are like, used yeah. to beating their kids kind of thing. I would say not to scare your children into doing certain things, um, not preaching in a way that children fear Allah and fear the religion, that, okay, if I don't do this, then I'm going to go to hell or, or, or something like that. It should always be put in a positive way. Um, I think that's one thing. My top parenting tips, um, we're good friends. It depends, yeah. Yeah, I'm his, I'm his buddy, you know, like, we play, we play hard, we fight together, we roll. I've taken... All my children have been to jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, oh, wow. karate. I've yeah. put the eldest one in competitions, and we we always play together. That's like, good. So that's very important. Yeah, so I, I feel like I'm, I get a bit more information yeah, yeah, from yeah. them. So my parents are both from back home. I feel like they haven't really been able to understand the British generation and how we've grown up in a different society. So. Um, the way they've been parenting or teaching us, it's not necessarily been the best way. Um, I think for parenting, it's important to realise what is going on, what is really common in that society and how you need to take that into account when teaching your children how to behave. Give as much attention to your children as you can. Because I, as a young kid growing up, I always had the determination to prove my family wrong. Because I would... SubhanAllah, I would come home and I would want from my siblings or my parents to ask me, how was this? How was that? What did you learn? What did you do? Mm -hmm. And the fact that they didn't made me feel mm. sad. But, you know, Alhamdulillah, my father, the one thing he instilled into me was Islam. He said, if you need anything in life to protect you in life, to guide you, Islam. Mm -hmm. You know, pray to your God and he'll give you what you mm -hmm. ask for. Mm -hmm. And just from that, have, having understood that and followed that, that my dad taught me, you know, Alhamdulillah, I use that in all aspects. The studying, the going out, the, the kind of friends I wanted to keep, just from that aspect. As a Muslim, what are your top parenting tips? Okay, I would say, speak to your children openly about any topics that they might be like confused with or not understanding. Encourage them to seek knowledge themselves. And I think, don't shy away from like, confronting something they're confused about if they ask if like a Muslim daughter comes back and says hey why am I wearing a hijab let her read the text and let her make her own mind up not to be too strict with your kids because then it'd be like a too much of a um, like a like a emotional gap like if, if my parents were too strict I wouldn't be able to like talk to them about my feelings or something like that mm. there'd be a bit, a bit of a distance another thing is like don't expect your kids to be anything like I don't expect I want you to be this I want you to be that let them be obviously give them some advice but don't say oh I want you to marry this person I want you to get this job because uh, that, that's just lead to mental illness I think as Muslims what are your top uh, parenting tips parenting tips yeah um, listen to your child yeah let your child tell you who they want to be 